We're going to have another look at mock-ups, uh, this time with the wireframing of the applications themselves on a mobile device. So we're looking at the uh, mock-up screen here with our blank untitled page. We can see over here, page is called untitled. I'll call that my wireframe, just to give it a just to give it a name. And from there, I'm going to go to my stencils option. So the stencils gives me uh, a bunch of different uh, graphic options. I'm going to use, uh, let's see, what am I going to use here? Uh, I'm going to use the devices. And we're going to pull out, uh, let's go with an iPhone 8. So we'll put an iPhone 8 in our screen. And again, if we wanted to resize it to make more room for other devices or other things, that's no, uh, no problem. Just grab it by the side or the corner and uh, on the bottom and you can drag it around. Uh, I'm going to draw your attention to the bottom left. Uh, this is the free plan and currently we have 60 of 400 objects. Uh, that are being used in the project. So uh, when I delete this, for example, you'll see it's going to go down to 59. Okay, so that's one less, less object. Drag it back out. And uh, we're going to put on some interface components. Uh, I'll click on the I iOS components tab. And maybe we'll look for something like a search bar, navigation bar. So I'm going to go SEA search bar and we're going to drag that out and we'll zoom in a little bit and you can see I can place that right there at the top for a search bar. So now maybe we want uh, sort of a menu bar for the bottom with uh, a few other icons or navigation icons. Uh, there's a few options like this like these nav bar icons Okay, I could choose some of those, or I can scroll through, and I think there's a few more here. There's tab bar icons. You'll see down here my free plan numbers in the bottom left corner, my free items uh, is going down. Uh, that's all right, I'll get rid of some of those in a bit. And uh, maybe we'll go with this one here, just to have a look at some of the different options that are available. So in amongst those, we've got all kinds of different icons. Uh, what I'm going to do, right now they're all collectively grouped together, but I'm going to right click on them uh, and I'm going to ungroup the selection there and I'll do the same here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to ungroup that selection and I'll do the same here, ungroup that selection. So uh, let's see, I think I want a background to put this on. So there's a toolbar option here, so I'm going to just click that and uh, that's not the toolbar I want, actually. I'm going to delete that. Uh, there's a toolbar in here with uh, with some words that we are. Taskbar. Oh, yes, I'm getting near the limit of my... Okay, there we are. Taskbar. Okay. So um, I'm going to go in and just double-click inside, and I'm going to get rid of these placeholders. And I'm going to pick, uh, I don't know, maybe I want this gear icon over here. We'll put that there. Now you notice you can't see it because it's actually behind uh, that taskbar. I'm going to right click and arrange and send that to the back. And now we can see that. And I'll pull that down a little bit. There we go. Uh, what else do I want in there? Maybe I want to use a download icon. And maybe I want to use a cloud icon for some reason. And I don't know what else. Uh, music. Maybe it's a music app of some sort. And I don't know, a report or a stock ticker. Okay. Wonderful. So I've populated uh, most of my phone. I don't need any of these right now. I can get some more later. I'm just going to delete them. Just to make room, you'll see that my free plan objects goes down every time I delete a group of them. And we've got some other options there, so maybe we want to use something like uh, one of these pickers. So you see one of these scrolling pickers that you get on a phone. We'll put that in there. Uh, and maybe I want to put a photo at the top or some iteration or version of a photo. Don't know where they are, but I'll put photo in there. And uh, we can use an image placeholder for a photo. Maybe I want to throw that in up at the top there. And now I've got my interface for my phone built. And currently using 91. So 
Maybe I want to use that as a base and I can copy and paste that and duplicate it and paste it again and duplicate that. Okay. Uh, and uh, if I want, I can diagram this. I can choose this diagram option up at the top and maybe I want to go from here over to there. And that option goes from there over to there. Okay, I can pick, you know, I can pick different versions of my diagramming tools. I can do that. And I can, you know, show some sort of workflow between each of those elements. So uh, that's an intro to, a quick intro to using mockups for wireframing. Uh, and I've just looked at a couple of uh, categories here, the iOS components and the devices. But you can go through and you can find all kinds of uh, templates and um, graphics and icons that you can use to sort of build your interface and wireframe your document. Hope this helps.